wondering what we do this so. 200 shows, that's what we do this so. We ain't bragging, we're just telling you. Trying to show you all the stuff that we can shoot. Three people in a golf car, school starts every day, just the same. Mine is doing crazy things, and we got all up in this show. Redwood got a lot to say, but don't know how to get a video made. Been doing this since the days of tape, now we YouTube official and we're getting paid. 200, no worries, and he's sitting here making money. 200, no worries, and he's sitting here making money. 200, no worries, and he's sitting here making money. We've been here for years. Now we got it right. We've been work, 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 working on our show. Watch the whole thing twice, cause we're just that good. We've been work, 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 working on our show. Now get this work. Now get this work. Now get this work. Now get this work, 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 working on our show. We all know that you love it, cause fame and the fortune is the reason that we're listening. We were shut down before, then we come back for more chill on the roof, cause we got permission. But we need supervision. Band's gone crazy, new guy hates me, girls, they all wanna date me. Cover the news with Paris 2020, got perfect vision, but he's still not funny. So, we go farthers, study for college trying to get that knowledge. But now it's four in the morning, and we're still recording, the host for the ones they show. It's imminent, y'all ignorant, No, it goes so hard, breaking ligaments. I am not inconsiderate, but the highlight reel is ridiculous, Adrian got diligence. You don't know the class. We make it real. Cameraman getting teachers to do crazy things. Do you want that? Embarrassment. 200, no worries. And you sitting here making money. 200, no worries. And you sitting here making money. 200, no worries. And you sitting here making money. We've been here for years. Now we got it right. We've been work, work, work. Work, working on our show. Watch the whole thing twice, cause we're just that good. We've been work, 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 working on our show. Now watch us work. Wait, what are you doing? This isn't entertaining. Why, why are you watching me? Stop. Pledge allegiance to the TV. This ain't easy, but cheers is easy for the shows we shot in the rubble. Camera in hand, do anything for Ed Hughes. Never met him. One day, could thank Seth for the laughs he had. Get on that couch with talent. That couch is filthy, it's crust so. All aboard my crew, ship on the green sea. Turn up for these hosts that I got with me. Cause every show we gonna do it like it's our last. The show is all that I need, better than you ever had. Now get this work. Now get this work. Now get this work. Now get this work. Working on a show. Seriously? I've been gone for a few days and this is what you've been up to? Good morning, El Diamante! I am Rachel Peterson. I am Elliot Fess. And, and welcome, welcome to the 200th episode, episode of Ed Hughes! <laughs> Golly, Elliot, I am so excited. <laughs> As you should be. I mean, do you even know how insane it is to have 200 shows? Most of you can't even count that high. And what an honor it is to be the host for such an important episode. I know, right? I don't even know if we deserve this honor. <laughs> of course we deserve this, but the best thing that ever happened to this show. Yeah. Oof. But enough lollygagging. Let's go to Ed Hughes News. Good morning everyone, and welcome to the Channel 9 News. I'm your anchorman, Noah Hernandez. Attention all seniors, the deadlines for senior ads are closing in. If you'd like to grab a form, go to 602, 603, or the Finance Center. Did you happen to lose anything? If so, go to the attendance office and search in the lost and found. 
After a period of time, all items will be donated to charity. Don't forget, minors, that the XL program is still offering math, English, and science support after school. Stop by Lab 62 to pick up a schedule. Reminder to all seniors that you guys must withheld a 94% attendance rate, and um, exceptions are doctor's notes, school activities, and funerals. And now we turn to our chief meteorologist, Noah Hernandez, for the weather. Thanks, Noah. Um, we have a, um, a high probability for the next days to have some uh, weather. And um, to the north, we will have uh, thunderstorms of, um, of uh, pollution that are dropping down to the southern seaboard. And from the west, there will be a swirly cloud um, of nothing but raindrops to the east. And um, you might want to um, keep on your gas masks and your hoodies because there will be nothing but bad weather for the next 10 days. Back to you, Noah. Okay, all right, no, is, is that good enough to use? I guess, yeah. The Common Applications deadline is due in January of 2015. Be sure to apply now at commonapp.org. Yeah. That's our new cast for tonight. Have a great day, miners. <laughs> Rachel, this is our last replay before we go on break. It's not like it matters, considering I won. Way to rub it in. You're just jealous. <laughs> jealous of you? <laughs> not funny. I am funny. Funny looking. <sighs> Let's check out our last replay of the semester. Hey, miners, welcome back to Replay It, LD Edition. Put on by yearbook. The winner for the theme, Family, is Dylan Zuelin. We also have a winner for holidays, which is Mikolo Delgado. Congratulations to both of you. Go claim your prize in room 603 for Mr. Droppy. Have a good day, minors. So there are just so many things that are inappropriate to do at school. Like walking to school naked? Yeah, you know who you are. Do people do that? I wish. Okay, I'm not gonna let this slide. Do you really wish that people walked around school naked, Elliot? Do you? Anyways, let's look at other things you shouldn't do. No hopping the fence. No singing. No talking to trees. No sleeping. No kidnapping. Don't walk too slow. No weapons. No balloons. No tweeting. Don't impersonate Callan. Don't play catch with a tree. No dancing. No ring around the rosy. Don't smell the trash can. Don't stand on the fire hydrant. Here's a list of a few more things you shouldn't do. That was a little bit more than a few. Hope you can read fast. You know, it's been pretty easy to notice that everything that happens at LD is amazing. You're finally figuring <laughs> this out. I know, shocker, right? <laughs> but seriously, we have killer sports. Killer academics. Killer teachers, okay. well, uh, except for. Okay, don't give out names. Yeah. And even a killer band. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Proud to be a minor. Let's check out what band's been up to. My name is Dylan Matthews Whalen. I'm Sarah Mello. My name is Miguel Tapia. And I'm part of the LD Monte Marching Miners. I've been playing trumpet for 10 years now. It'll be 11 next May. I started when I was in third grade. I had five lessons and then I love that thing ever since. I've been playing a musical instrument and I play the trumpet. Uh, I've been playing since I was, I uh, believe, in uh, fourth grade or fifth grade. It kind of gradually happened as the years went by. I got used to playing trumpet and uh, band, I think, was mostly like my intentional 
for the future. My impression in high school uh, was I would go out to the football games and see him march on the field and I was like, wow, you know, that's what I really want to do. I think that's my style of uh, music to me. In the past four years, the El Diamante Marching Band has won two WBA championships, making it four in our school's still short lifetime. The marching minors may lay claim to the most time-demanding extracurricular activity LD has to offer that isn't classified as a sport. Usually we have day practices that go from 8 to like 3. We have them twice a week, every week during the summer. At the beginning of August we have band camp which is 8 to 9 with 3 hour break and a lunch. Um, so it's a lot of work, a lot of time. It takes up the first you know, six months. All I think about is band, it's what I have on my mind, it's what I'm thinking of, what I do after school, before school. I saw many people quitting, you know, they said band isn't really worth my time, it's taking time out of my schedule, school, they'd rather focus on school, but I know I thought, I thought of it different, you know, I would look at everyone, you know, you know what, they're having fun, I think that's what I want to have and I want to be successful. We get on, we get on each other's nerves a lot, I yell a lot, they yell back at me a lot, but I mean, we learn together, and we grow together, and then especially whenever we won or we got through a hard competition or hard practice, it was always a good feeling. We look at it like we did it. We want to leave a legacy, you know, be, uh, make sure they remember us. Not just us, but, you know, past, past uh, classes too, you know. I'm not complaining, but we do a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort, and I mean, we've done something that's not happened in 4A. We won two back-to-back. -back. We have four championship banners hanging, and that's, Probably the most for any 4A band I know has. The school itself or the district doesn't really, you know, it's important enough to get out the information. But if they were to go see it happening, they'd be really surprised on how many people actually go to those kind of things. It just happens. You don't even feel it happening, it just kind of flashes before your eyes. Sometimes I forget I'm performing. Just, I just go and it's like an adrenaline rush. Elliot? It's time. Time for what? You know. Really? Yeah. Right here. Yep. Right now. Oh, yeah. You mean to tell me? Our very own <gasps> Spencer Brandt on Couch Talk? Oh, yeah. Oh. I have been waiting for this my whole life. I know, right? Like, if I die tomorrow, I would die with no regrets. Really? Not even a letter. Well, without further ado, let's look at Couch Talk. Okay, so as most of you guys may know, today is our 200th show, and this is something we probably wouldn't do. Uh, we're having an Ed Hughes person on the show. Uh, his name is Spencer Brandt. He's a really important part of Ed Hughes. Here he is. Get to know him a little better. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. How are you? I'm pretty good, Cowan, and can I just say I'm really happy that you have found your niche on this show, even if it is by ripping off Zach Galifianakis' entire act. Can I tell you how I really don't care and how you... You can tell me whatever you want, dude, but... So... What are you involved with around school besides Ed Hughes? Um, I'm the yearbook photographer, and I mean, yeah, like you said, I do Ed Hughes. Uh, I think most importantly, I'm the head writer for Couch Talk, just not this week. Are you addicted to anything? Um, like coffee per se? Yeah, I had never thought about that. I am kind of addicted to coffee, but it's not like a physical addiction. It's not? No, it, no, it's not. I don't get headaches when I don't drink coffee. Well, how often do you drink coffee? Um, average, probably twice a day. Twice a day? Yeah. That means every day. You drink coffee every day, it's bad. Yeah. He's kind of short, that's, when you're, that's kind of where it's coming from. Um, so, in class, a while back, Someone found a gray hair in your beard. Yeah, that is actually why I shaved, because I was not happy with the fact that I had gray hair in my beard. You feeling old? Yes. Well, I already feel like a 40-year-old man, so... Okay. I mean, I'm wearing a suit on Couch Talk. Oh, yeah, so let's go to that part now. You're wearing a blazer. Yeah. 
I'm wearing the blazer. I'm known for my red blazer, right? Are you just trying to be like me? I mean, I guess you could say that. I think more so that it's just I felt I needed to be prepared for this show because I know how important this is. And I know that if I don't come with a level of professionalism, no one's going to take you seriously. Why is that? Um, I think mostly you're I... You're calling me unprofessional? I, actually, can I, can I do one thing now? Can I... Yeah. So, I expressed how I felt about you in a form of art. Okay, sure. <laughs> That's bloody why. <laughs> how am I a fraud? Because I write your questions, Cowan. That's why you're a fraud. You, that's not a hearing aid. Did you write aid. any of these questions? That's not a hearing aid. That's an earpiece so I can whisper questions into your ear. You better not tape that together. <laughs> I'm going to. We're going to hang it up in the other room. I had a question I was going to ask you earlier about Ed Hughes. Yeah, go ahead. That's what this. It was going to be, how do you feel that no one in Ed Hughes likes you except for me? But I can't even say that anymore because I don't like you right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I got on your bad side. Why can't you be like... Chill. What do you mean? You mean why can't I be your puppet? Yes. I don't know. Everyone else is my puppet. Okay, so this show obviously displays why Spencer is our editor and he how he is above me in a lot of ways. And we are extremely thankful for him. And he put a lot of work into the show and this is our 200 show. And that's all I have to pitch to. So fall sports has come to an end. But our man Adrian caught up with one of our cross country runners. Let's take a look. Thanks, Richard and Elliot. Here are Jacob Avado. Jacob placed first in WIL, sixth in state. Tell me about that performance. Well, at Valley, I placed second, which wasn't the outcome that I wanted. So I wanted to beat the guy who beat me that week, and I went into the race with a top 10 mindset. Just let the race carry me. It started out pretty slow. I ran, I was in about 60th place at the half mile, had to make a big sh surge up to the first mile, ran about 450, which was a perfect pace, and then held on. What made you kick into that second gear? I saw a huge group of guys in that last mile, it was about 17th place coming through, and I wanted to be top 10, so I just started picking it up. With about 200 meters to go, I saw the guy who beat me at Valley, and I wanted to get him, so... I just went after him and I got him at the very end. What's next for you in your running career? Uh, I'm taking a break right now, no running, just relaxing and then start track season a little bit. So get ready for that and I want to go to state and track also. Any defense colleges? I have a few colleges I'm talking to. The Air Force coaches at my house this weekend. I'm talking to UC Riverside, UC Santa Barbara, Cal Poly. Those are pretty much my top picks right now. I'm my result, Jacob Bovado. Back to you, Rach and Best. So as you can tell, we've sort of had a theme going on with this show. <laughs> exactly, with this 200 sign. Our awesome shirts. Our amazing music video. And 200 things you shouldn't do at school. You can tell that this is a pretty big deal. That should be number one of our <laughs> 200 facts. Let's look at the other 199. Hey Miners, today is the 200th episode of Ed Hughes. Now, let's think about that number. One, two, two oh. zeros. 200. Zero, zero. That's 200 episodes. How about we find some interesting things about the number 200? Did you know that no president has ever lived past 200? Here at Sonic, you can purchase a slushie that only has 200 calories. I'm going 200 miles an hour! Now, there are 200 reasons why you should not enter the store. This Hershey's candy bar has 200 calories. There's that number again. Such a great number. Oh my god, it is the best day ever, guys. It is 200 again. If you want to have the runs for 200 minutes, this is where you come, right here. 
Mr. Waters consumes approximately 200 water bottles a year. Did you know that if your initials are CC, in Roman numerals, your name means 200? Did you know that? Didn't think so. And now it's time for the best video of our show. What about the music video? Okay, the second best video Couch of top? the show. I like comedy better. What? Alright, fine. The third best Cameron? video. Cameron? Rachel! And now for our best video. Seth with comedy. This is a shark tank, where hopeful entrepreneurs get a once in a lifetime chance to pitch to sharks in hopes of getting an investment to start, grow, or save their business. Who are the sharks? They're self-made millionaire and billionaire investors who are entrepreneurs themselves. Kevin O'Leary, AKA Grumpy. Barbara Corcoran, she loves buildings for some reason. Mark Cuban, notorious billionaire and owner of the NBA's Dallas Maverick. Robert Herjavec, a technology nerd. Lori Grenier, queen of the QVC. On this episode, entrepreneur Seth Reese is looking to get some help with his new product. Hello Sharks, today I'm bringing you a product. Let's get it changed the world. Jacqueline, if you please. You're probably thinking to yourself, it's a backpack. But watch this. Look how stylish that is. Look how stylish this is. Can you see your son or daughter, or whatever they are, wearing this? Say it was raining outside. It's now an umbrella. Now I want to start the offer at $2 billion for 10% of my company. I like it. Really? Because I hate it. What are your sales, though? You know, this is very uh, proprietary. Does the suitcase come with it? Yes. Let's talk more about the suitcase. You know, it's funny that you guys bring that up because the suitcase... Yeah, you mean a briefcase? I'm going to be brief with you. What materials is it made out of? Can we, go, can we go back to the backpack, please? Well, can't you do everything as you would with the backpack with the briefcase? Yeah, and it, it looks better. Look, all right? Can I try it out? <laughs> yeah, no, you can't. He can't, man. Lori, can you please stop doing that? I'm in love with you. Let's get back to sales. What are your projected sales this year? Well, I'll tell you something, Kevin. I'm expecting $1 billion in revenue this year. You know, you're not an entrepreneur, you're a wantrepreneur. He's gonna sell a billion units, what are you talking about? Mark Cubanian, if you wanna go on an offer, how about we do 20%, split that down in half, and then do one third of half of a quarter for your uh, royalty. You know, I'll take that offer. Okay, well I appreciate you guys' offer, but I would like to listen to the other sharks. You sound unsure of yourself. I'm not so sure I wanna do business with you. I think Mark Cuban Missile Crisis over here could agree with me. You know, screw your offer, I'm still in. Thanks guys. Love it. I believe I want in on that offer too. Let me let me tell you, this product, from the lack I've seen of it, it's fantastic. Fantastic. Am I right? He's right. Oh, so right. You guys right. are all wrong. This thing sucks. All right, I'm still in. Do you uh, agree with my offer? You know what? I appreciate that offer, but I'm gonna have to come back. I'll give you 51% of my company for a lifetime supply of McChickens. marketable, there's gonna be no revenue. I don't know why they win that deal. Got all four, bro! Yeah, so I'm actually really glad I got four of the sharks, because she was right. It was, it was really just a backpack I, I beat up a kid for, and just took it from him, and I came on here. So, uh, I gypped them. So, Rachel, would you rather stay in a haunted house for three days, or eat your own hand? Elliot! Right or left? You decide. Can I put ketchup on it? Yes, that's reasonable. Can I cook it? Yeah, I'll accept it. Can I cook it and then put ketchup on Okay, it? that's unreasonable. Okay, that's the line you're drawing? Alright, yeah, I'll accept it. I would stay in the haunted house. <sighs> Alright. Let's look at some more would-you-rathers. 
Would you rather eat 200 crickets or 200 spiders? Uh, 200 crickets. Crickets. 200 crickets, because I already ate crickets once. 200 crickets. Would you rather lick a hobo's feet 200 times or lick a dirty Q-tip 200 times? Uh, let's do dirty Q-tip. This way he doesn't enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna go with the Q-tip. Dirty Q-tip. A hobo's feet. Cause like, dogs feet, or people's feet are cleaner than dogs' mouths, right? Would you rather get clawed by a bear 200 times or stuck by a bee 200 times? Clawed by a bear? I'm allergic to bees, so... Bear. I think clawed by the bear, cause I hate bees. Would you rather smell dog poop or the dumpster for 200 seconds? The dumpster. <laughs> Definitely the dumpster. <laughs> uh, dumpster. The entertaining videos just keep coming in. Of course, with the 200 show, it's go big or go home. And all we can do not to freak out a little bit is just keep going through the motions. That's right. And next up is Cameron with some Holly movies. Let's see what movies are the ones to watch. Christmas, everybody, and happy holidays. Now, today on entertainment, we only got what a minute? Oh no. Anyway, Kyle, take it. For the sake of shortness, we've decided to work together and decide on the two movies and games that we think you should be looking at this holiday season. Here are the two films I would recommend, and here are the two games that I would recommend. Well, anyway, from all of us here at entertainment, Kyle, I wish to give you a gift. A simple uh, gift on peace, goodwill, on earth towards men. You shouldn't have. Oh, believe me, I should. It's called payback! Happy holidays. All right, Miners, it's about that time. Yes, it is. This is the last time you will see us as hosts. Ever. Like, forever, ever. And I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty emotional for us. Agreed. Being your guys' host for a whole semester has truly been wonderful. One of the best experiences of our high school careers. It's been an honor, and we hope we made you laugh. What are we gonna do with our lives? I don't know. That's for people up there to decide, I guess. Canada? Canada. Well, without further ado, this is Rachel Middleney Peterson. And Elliot Scott Vest. Signing, signing off. off. Bye, Miners. <laughs>